Okay. This one's kind of interesting. Um, the school's talent show will feature 12 solo acts and two ensemble acts, and the show will last 90 minutes. We don't have a clear understanding of how long each one of those is. What are the solo acts? The solo acts here, they're saying, last X minutes each. And the ensemble acts last Y minutes each. We're going to try and figure out how long they actually last. Okay, so that's the first thing. 12 solo acts, two ensemble acts will last for 90 minutes. Um, then six solo performers, six solo acts, will give a repeat performance at the 60-minute show, which will also figure feature two ensemble acts. They're telling us to use X for the length of the solo act and Y for the length of the ensemble act. So what does that look like? By the way, solo is just one person, ensemble is a group, just to make that clear, okay? So what do, what do we get? Well, we've got 12 solo acts, 12 solo acts, each taking, here it says each solo act at last X minutes, the 12 solo acts um, lasting X minutes plus two ensemble acts, and they're telling us each ensemble act lasts Y minutes. Okay, so two ensemble acts at each at time Y, a length of time Y, will equal the total 90 minutes. Okay, so that's one equation. 12 solo acts at X minutes at each, and two ensemble acts at Y minutes each will equal the 90 minutes. Now there's going to be a second show with six solo performers. So now for the second equation, we've got, oops, we've got six solo performers. They also last X minutes each because that's what solo performances last. And it was, says that 60 minute show will feature also two ensemble acts, two times Y, and this one is going to be 60. Okay. What do we got? Look away. We got, we've got two Y and two Y. Perfect. They're not opposite signs though. So we have to subtract. And essentially, what we're going to do when we subtract is, oh, sorry about that. Um, what we're going to do when we subtract is um, just change the sign of one of these. So I'm going to rewrite this as the first one, 12x plus 2y equals 90. And the other equation, because I need it to be the opposite sign, I need the 2y to have an, its opposite of negative 2y to add them together. So I'm going to change the sign of everything on the second equation. So now I'm going to get negative 6x. Notice that's the opposite of what it was here. Okay. And minus 2y, the opposite of what it was there, equals negative 60. The point of this is that I've changed the sign of everything in here so that now we've got opposites, 2y and negative 2y. Now we can just add them together. So we've got 12y and negative 6y. I'm sorry, 12x and negative 6x. Positive 6x left over. The y's cancel each other out. And 90 minus 60 is 30. So we get 6x equals 30 or 6x divided by 6 equals 30 divided by 6. x equals 5. And we know that x equals the solo act, right? Each solo act is, now we found out, 5 minutes long. Great. Now we're going to find out what are we dealing with for the ensemble act. So all we need to do is take one of the original equations. Um, let's take 12x plus 2y equals 90, and say we know what x is. x is equal to 5 plus 2y equals 90. Okay, 12 times 5 is 60, plus 2y equals 90, and then subtracting 60 from both sides, we get 2y, the two ensemble acts, lasting 30 minutes, indicating that when we divide by 2, each ensemble act lasts 15 minutes. So 
what did they ask us to do? Let's identify what they asked us to do and box it out. They asked us to write a system of equations to model the situation, and we did. This is the system of equations here, boxed in yellow. Oops. Uh, sorry about that. Here in yellow. And solve the system. How long is each solo act? How long is each ensemble act? That's in green. And that's how long each one is. The solo act, and I guess I can write underneath it, solo act. And underneath this one, ensemble act. Yep, that's it. Uh, setting up the how the equation is going to look based on a word problem, obviously challenging. Obviously challenging. Um, but the whole point of all of these word problems is to show you that, oh, look, this math, we're not teaching you this math as just a fun Sudoku type brain puzzle. We're teaching it to you because it has real world applications. And here's a real world application of it that you can get your mind around. So it's a simplistic kind of situation. Um, you might not be trying to calculate the lengths of sh show acts. Um, but the point is, is that you can use it for that and you can use it for a lot of other things too. And you need to master how to use it and how to take a real life situation and create the mathematical representations of that situation in order to discover new information that you didn't know. So these word problems, although you might be like, ah, word problems. Some of you should embrace word problems as where the rubber meets the road, where it becomes, ah, this is why we're learning it because it applies to real situations. So hopefully you got some.